This right here is an ultrasound. Today we're going to ultrasound our ball pythons and show you guys how we do it and why we do it. Before we get into ultrasounding and the benefits of ultrasounding, I thought let me show you guys some of the awesome pairings we're hoping that the season we're going to get. So the first animal is an albino metal flake pied and this female was actually paired to a double head metal flake pied male. So this will be the first season where we could actually hatch out the plain metal flake animals. So I'm very excited about that. Going into the double visual desert ghost project. Here we've got a cypress double head for desert ghost and hypo. And she was paired to a leopard desert ghost clown male. So here we're hoping for cypress leopard desert ghost 100% head for clowns. And they would be 50% boss head hypo. Another exciting project is for the Holy Grail project. This is a pastel pied double head for lavender and clown. And she was paired to our Grail 100% head for pied male. So this is the first chances of the season for this Holy Grails. Of course, that's the lavender clown pied project. Going to this side here, we've got an awesome hypo lesser leopard spot nose. 100% head for clown. And she was paired up to both our leopard desert ghost clown male and our yellow belly dub the yellow belly desert ghost clown male so we're hoping for hypo a hypo combos which will be 100 percent double head for desert ghost and clown so the best in my opinion would be a leopard spot nose hypo double head for desert ghost clown so real exciting animals coming from this pairing sticking on with the desert ghost clown project here we've got a black pastel enchi double head for dg clown and this female was paired to our red stripe inchy spark double head dg clown as well as our stranger yellow belly which is 100 percent head for desert ghost and 50 percent head clown so if that male proves out we've got an awesome clutch for stranger desert ghost clown combos so we're really holding thumbs that this female goes and lays a healthy clutch and the last animal here is a black pewter fire female sorry black pewter fire yellow belly female and she was paired to our red stripe puzzle male this female is actually head for puzzle as well so she's a black pewter fire yellow belly 100 head for puzzle and she was paired to our fire red stripe puzzle male this season so we're hoping for some awesome animals some black pastel red stripe fire yellow belly rich uh, puzzles i think that's going to be amazing animal and one step closer to reproducing something that's similar as the pompey but instead of clown we're going to use puzzle so guys let's start off by what is ultrasounding and why we do it so ultrasounding is basically that we can track the follicle development of the female and see if the female is actually going towards um, laying a clutch or if the female is not going to go the season so basically with the ultrasounding we use ultrasound gel which we're going to place on the probe um, which is basically the probe of the ultrasound so just make sure there's a good enough layer of this gel on the probe and as you guys can see as soon as we place uh, the gel on the probe the screen actually starts to um, show color or show um, you know what's going on the probe so we're going to start off with the first female. Morris is just going to help us hold the female. And this female has only been starting to pair recently. So she's going to have smaller follicle development. So basically, if we ultrasound the snakes, we always go for the last third of the body. That's normally where you get the gallbladder. So let's try and first get the gallbladder. So if we go, as you guys can see, it's on the snake itself. All we do is we're adjusting the probe up and down in order to see the follicles on the screen. So first we're going to allocate the gallbladder. So guys, there on the screen you guys will see a black marking to your left or in the middle of the screen there. And that's the gallbladder. And then just after that, you start seeing the follicles in the snake itself. So this female is around at... 1.2 centimeters at follicle size of follicle size and basically all we need to do now is get once a month a copulation with this female and she slowly but surely will start growing her follicles so here's the cypress double head for desert ghost hyper female we just showed you guys her in the previous shot so let's see how she is looking this female is quite further down 
in a follicle development and as you guys can see is right off the bat you've got you can see the follicles quite clearly so you don't have to even look for them now once they get to this stage the follicles is quite predominant so you guys can see is there's actually one in the full frame and then there's two eggs or two follicles besides it so this female i would say is roughly at two and a half centimeters of follicle size so in terms of ovulation we are looking at around i'd say a month and a half until this female ovulates and as you guys can see is as the eggs gets or the follicles gets a bit bigger they actually become translucent in effect where they're not as dark or the follicles are not as dark on the screen itself so this is a good sign to show that this female is not far from an ovulation and she's gearing up to lay in healthy clutch for us last female we're going to ultrasound and what you guys will see is physically that's going on with this female look at the swelling that she's got here at the midsection of the body as you guys can see the scales almost look separated from each other and it's quite an obvious swell here on the lower part of the stomach so this female this would be a last ultrasound session after this we know the female would be gravid so let's see actually how big is her follicles compared to the other females so if we go onto the screen now you guys will see there's huge follicles the follicles almost cover the whole screen so that whole part of the screen now is actually an egg and this female is getting i'd say like close to 40 or well, 40 moles in follicle size or four centimeters in follicle size so this female is going to ovulate any day now so as you guys can see there on the screen that's a full egg or at this point it's still follicles but it's actually we're to the point where we can say that this female is completely gravid now she doesn't need to get a copulation or anything else now so this is the perfect time just to leave your female alone make sure she's comfortable and not to disturb your animals or your females now at this stage too much as you guys can see as Morris just making sure all of the ultrasound gel is off the female and now the most important thing is to also keep track of your follicle development and your locks throughout the season so if we take this female for instance we're going to show you guys her breeding card here so her first the first time we uh, ultrasounded her was the end of uh, june and she had 1.2 uh, follicle size or 1.2 centimeters in follicle size then we had one two two locks before the next ultrasound session and then we saw she jumped from 1.2 to two and a half centimeters in follicle growth which is amazing normally the females grow a centimeter a month then on the 7th of august we had another lock and the end of august we had another lock and then today was the last ultrasounding session so now we can say that this female is fully gravid and once the females are fully gravid we put a red sticker on their cards just to know that we know between Morris and myself that we need to look for an ovulation and then once the females got a pre-lay shed they actually we put a, a yellow sticker on the, the st um, on the tag itself to show we must look out for pre-lay sheds and that we know the females very close to laying a clutch so here we've got the date of ovulation and the date of pre-lay shed so we know 30 days after the date of pre-lay shed we can expect a clutch